Hey everyone, welcome back. I am so excited to be working on this beautiful wooden mermaid. So my awesome wood guy, he is my local carpenter man. Um, he makes all my rounds for me. And so I asked him, I sent him a silhouette picture of this mermaid and I said, can you do this for me? And he's like, well, I've never done anything like it, but I can sure as heck try. And he did. And it turned out amazing. Like, and it's nice and thick. I have taped the back. That was a real pain in the butt. Let me tell you, that took forever. And then I primed it with a coat of gesso so it's all over every nook and cranny is covered and then i have it laying on these cake molds they're made of silicone so they're really great and they're very sturdy so let me make sure i put that back the way i had it all right let's see yep perfect perfect and perfect nice and sturdy so uh, this beautiful mer mermaid is um, 18 inches, so she's pretty big. Um, barely get her to, you know, be on the table there. But the kicker is, he made me a 24-inch one too. I'm telling you, this thing is massive. Look at this thing. Let me show you. <laughs> Look at this thing. I can't even get it all in the frame. It's that big. She is humongous. Like, look, here's my table. She, like, I don't even know how I would do this. I'd have to do it on the floor. Um, but she's huge and she's 24 inches. I absolutely love it. Let me put her back. Okay. So for this one, I decided to give it a test run and try um, ocean colors because of course, mermaids live in the ocean. So I've gone ahead and already mixed my resin because no one needs to see that. Um, and if you do want to see it, check out video number, I believe it's 61, I'm not 100% sure. Just look for the um, video with the thumbnail that has the art resin picture on it. And then I, I believe the title says working with resin or something like that. So if you want to know how I mix the resin, go and check out that video. I'm pretty sure it's 61, but I'm not 100%. So anywho, I've already mixed my resin. I have a cup of white, which is my winter white. And for those of you who don't know or already know, all my pigments and my pastes and my winter white and my jet black I buy from my amazing new friend. Well, not new anymore, but my amazing friend, Deborah, And she is the proud owner of Resin Pigment Canada. So I buy all my stuff from her now. Um, she has really awesome things. So I will put her um, website below and a link to her YouTube channel if you want to check her out but uh, she ships to Canada and the US only. Sorry for those of you who are international, um, but she can't ship out that way um, due to laws and regulations. But um, yeah, for those of you in the US and Canada, go and check it out. So the other thing that's super, super duper important is to make sure your piece is level. So I've put her down, I have have this level, bought it off Amazon, couple bucks, it's in my Amazon shop for those of you who are interested. And just make sure your piece is absolutely level in every way, shape, and form. Because if it's not, everything will just slide off. And trust me, that happened to me just the other day with a Dutch pour that I did. And I came back to it 45 minutes later and my beautiful pour was a sideways mess. So lesson learned on that. I should have known better, but anywho. So 
These colors I am using, I bought all from Deborah, and they are U Resin called Deep Ocean, fitting for a mermaid, right? Deep Ocean, that's, that's this one, which is absolutely stunning. Let me see, where's my light? Light, light, when I want the pot light, I can't get the, there we go. So that is pretty cool. So that's Deep Ocean. My next color, again, uh, U Resin, and it's called Sapphire. So this is Sapphire. That's Sapphire, super pretty. I love blue, I love blue. Yes, everybody knows that. Next color is Artie Sue, and it's called Blue Diamond. So that would be this one. And this one looks like it has um, a metallic shimmer to it. So you can see another beautiful blue with a metallic shimmer to it. And then next I have U Resin again, and this one's called Jade. Now, I only made a small amount of this one because it's more on the turquoisey green side and I'm not sure how it's going to fit nicely with the actual blues, but I, I made a little bit up and then if I like it, I'll pour it. If not, I'll pour over it. So that is the jade, so, although it doesn't look green in the camera, but it's a beautiful turquoise green. I love it. I just don't know if it'll work with this. And then I have Artie Sue, and this is called Electric Blue, and this one's actually a powder. The other ones are pastes, and, pick, and um, yeah, pastes, and this is a powder. So that is Electric Blue, and this is, and this one looks really pretty too. So, Electric Blue, going down Electric Avenue. And last but not least, I have Artie Sue again. It's a pig, um, a paste, and it's called Caribbean Sea. Again, very fitting for my mermaid. And this is a nice color as well. Also very metallic-y. So, it looks gray from what I'm looking at. I hope it's different on your end, but you'll see it when it goes down on the board. All right, so those are my colors. I hope that's enough. I've got my white, I hope that's enough. I always keep a little reserve of white, of clear. Always keep a little extra. You never know if you might need it. So don't use up all your resin all in one shot. Keep a little because you never know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and make all of this cover all of her. So let's see what I can manage. So I, oops, I wasted a little bit there. So I, like I said, I got these boards, I got these mermaids today and I could not wait to get home today and try these out. Like, I mean, my hubby is away on a business trip. Lucas is sleeping at grandma's and Sophia's already up in bed. So I figured now would be a good time to give this a go because I was, like I said, super excited. But I did a bunch of other pours earlier too up in the kitchen. So I did those as well. So if you guys don't want to watch this part, because this might take a little while, uh, I'm not good with editing stuff and fast forwarding videos and stuff like that. I have to make sure getting myself in here um, that all these um, edges here inside or whatever um, are all covered so if you fast forward I don't blame you you might miss a story or, or something a Juno story maybe or a kid's story or any kind of story but um, yeah I really suck at editing stuff I'll try and fast forward a bit but I also don't do well with music either in my videos, so that's another thing. If I fast forward, all you're going to just see is me fast forwarding. So, 
I will do my best to move this along. And like I said, feel free to fast forward till I get to the good fun part. But this has to be done. Got to make sure I get all my edges. So let's see, do I have any stories to tell you? What stories can I tell you? Oh, oh, I got one. So just my luck as it would have it, I, I you know, came home today, I picked Sophia up from grandma's house and I said to myself, oh great, I'm like, it's just me and Sophia. I'm going to have some time to do some pouring and, you know, do some videos. And I picked Sophia up from grandma's house, which is five minutes away from my house, luckily. It's very convenient having my in-laws, my retired in-laws um, down the road because they help me and my husband with the kids. They, grandma takes them to school, grandma picks them up, and she also watches Juno for me. They watch Juno for me during the day so that he doesn't have to be alone all day um, which is also very nice. So, anywho, so I go to pick Sophia up and then as I'm leaving and heading home, I got the windows rolled down because it was a hot day today. And as I'm driving along the road, all I hear is tick, 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 tick. And I'm like, what is that? And then I'm like, I could hear it as I was driving. So I knew I could hear something on my tires. So I thought to myself, is that a rock stuck inside the tread of my tires? Or did I step on a nail? Now, where my in-laws live, right across the street, um, the owner is building a brand new house. So it's in full construction swing over there. So I'm thinking to myself, oh man, I hope I didn't, you know, step on a nail or a screw or something. So I get home, I pull into the driveway, into the garage, I turn the engine off, and all I could hear is like that. And I was like, oh my God. So sure enough, don't I find a nail in my driver's front side tire and I am so irritated because I actually just got these tires they're brand new tires I got them maybe a year ago not even and now I have a hole in it and it's losing air and fast because you could like hear it hissing so I'm thinking to myself oh great not only do I have a nail in my tire but my husband is out of town so you know I have no idea what to do I'm not good with this kind of stuff so I call him up and he's like oh call Canadian Tire which is a you know a, they do they service cars and stuff like that and which is where I bought my tires so I call him up and she's like oh the service department is closed now and I'm like mother no, but I'm like, what do I do? And she's like, I don't know. Sorry, I can't help you. And I'm like, gee, thanks a lot. So luckily, thank God, we have a neighbor down the road who happens to be a mechanic and a very good friend of ours. So I call him up and I beg for help. Although I don't have to beg because he's always there to help us. So I took my car over there and in a matter of like, I don't know, 10 minutes. He had my tire fixed. He had it plugged up and my tire was saved. Oh, I can't get my finger in here. Let's see, so yeah, not really what I wanted to deal with after coming home from a long day at work, you know, so that really sucked pretty bad um, but I'm really glad that there wasn't any severe damage to my tire and that it didn't need um, complete replacing so thank God for that and thank God for great neighbors who are always there to help when you need it
because he's helped me many times before. So anywho, that's my story from today. Good old stories. Um, all right, I think I'm done. See, look, my story kept you busy long enough <laughs> for me to finish. Look at that. Perfect. Wow, I had enough white. I calculated that. No, I didn't calculate anything. <laughs> I totally guessed on that. Complete guess on that. I think I got all the edges. I think, I, I don't think I missed anything. We'll see. Looks like I've got everything. I'm so excited to see what this is gonna look like. Lots of drips under here. All right, you know, I probably should have covered the whole mermaid on the back um, with tape, but too late for that now. So, like I said, this one is my trial piece. All right, so if anyone wants one of these, um, feel free to um, email me or shoot me a message, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Email's best though, because that way I have it on record and you know, it's easier to communicate that way. So shoot me an email, tell me, do you want this 18 inch or 20 inch? And then we'll discuss the rest. All right, so that's all covered. I'm gonna hit it with the torch, pop any bubbles and all that stuff. So give me a minute with that. She looks so beautiful, even white. Like, I mean, it doesn't look white in the camera there, but she is stark white. It's amazing. So what I was thinking, I don't have a plan for her. I was just gonna go with it. But the only thing I was thinking is I was gonna um, do her hair in one of each, like one of the colors. So there's one, two, three, maybe four, and do her hair like that. I don't know, we'll see. I have no idea what I'm doing because I've never done one of these before. This is my first time. So she's a mermaid underwater. So she's going to be blue. Blue. And trying to concentrate here but like again I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> we figure it out together right oh my god I love this blue jeez and it doesn't matter to me if um it all falls down the edges like I mean I might try and get it all but at least it's white so it doesn't matter that much to me because I have it covered with white at least. So let's cross over. Oh man, I love this blue. All right, let's go to the next color. Hmm, let me see what color is this one. This one looks kind of like that one, so let's go with this one. And we'll go. No, let's start up here. Oh, I forgot her arms. Uh, let's see, Should try this blue. Although it kind of looks like the other one. This is the electric blue. And that one was the sapphire. So they actually look 
kind of similar. Let's see what happens when I pour. Yeah, they're pretty similar actually. Well, that's good to know. So then that way I don't have to mix both because they're pretty much the same color. So I'm gonna add some more of the dark blue. And the tail. And in the arm. And here. All right. What do I have here? I'm still iffy on this color. Maybe I'll test it on her hand. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Okay, let me blast it. And let's see. Yeah, let me blast it, mix it all up, and then we'll go from there. Holy cow, I'm already loving the tail, which you can't see very well, but I'm telling you, oh my God, that looks so good. I'm gonna try the jade on the tip. I'm curious now. I really wanna see the jade. And if I don't like it, I can at least blow it off. So it's such a beautiful color. I just don't think it goes well here. I stand corrected. It actually looks good. It's like I'm, it's like it's a Dutch pour and I'm blowing. All right. Holy cow. Okay. I am gonna do the, the jade. I really like it. I'm gonna do her arms. And we'll see. Oh. My foot got hot and I thought I dropped like hot resin on me or something, but that was really weird because there's nothing on my foot. That was so bizarre. All right, let me try the hands and see what it comes out, what it looks like. Oh yeah, I'm so putting jade in this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to do the tail a bit. It, I uh, yeah, what? Guys, I'm so excited. I'm like a little kid. This is amazing. Wow, okay. I'm gonna add the jade. I might have to mix some more in here. All right. Guys, no joke. These pigments and the pastes um, that I buy from Deborah are amazing. She also has her own line too. Um, she has her own um, colors, uh, and they're called Northern Lights, which is very fitting since we are in Canada. So check her out, guys. She has some seriously cool stuff. All right, let's stop there. I'm going to have a lot of colors left. All right, let's see.
what I want to do, do I have any left? Yeah, I do. Um, I also want to add white because this white is like seriously special stuff. It's not like artist loft flow white or just, you know, that kind of stuff. It creates a lot of lacing and a lot of cells. So I'm going to try it and see what happens like that. I'm loving that. See, I added the white here and there's a bunch of little blue cells that popped up. Now I'm thinking I should add some of the jade to here in the tail since I have it everywhere else now, um, just to make it all match. All right, let's go for that again. So I'm going to add some white in the hair, see if we can get some lacing going on in the hair. Guys, like, this is so exciting to me right now. I, I can't even begin to tell you how stunning this looks in person. And I love the way, you know, there's some blue and then there's white along the edges because, you know, it's nice to see some of the white still. Like, I mean, I, I don't even want to, I think only just up here because um, there's nothing there. So let me go with the, I didn't even use that color. So note to self, this was the Caribbean color. Oh, well, I hate wasting resin, but I'm not about to ruin a piece because I want to use up the resin. So not happening. So let's just... do that I can't even see what the other side looks like all right so I think I'm gonna put a little blue along the tip here 
The tips are the hardest because they're so thin from, you know, when they're cut on the machine. But if you just cover it with resin, it'll harden up nicely. So I think that's good. I think I have all the edges covered. Holy smokes, man. I can't even. Uh, let's see. Her arm is really white over here. So I am gonna add blue and then hit it with the torch so that it warms it up and makes it drip down the side, down the sides. All right, hmm. same with that over here. What color do I wanna use though? Whoever's messaging me, leave a message. I'm busy creating an ocean masterpiece. All right, let's hit it this way. All right, that's good. This arm's looking good. Holy cow. So I think I used pretty much the right amount of resin. Um, I have this much left, which is fine because I have a piece on the floor over there that's already leveled that needs a top coat. So that's fine. All right, I think, I think that's it guys. Uh, oh, I got some tips here that need some resin. Cover up the tips. Okay. I'm gonna add some white here in the tail. I want some bubbles. Okay, okay, I'm done, I'm done. I swear I'm done. Holy cow, she is stunning. Okay, let me bring you guys down to see what I see. I'm really glad I put the jade in there, actually. Although you can't see much of it here, but it's in the arms, a little bit up here. What? All right, let's try this. Okay. Guys, seriously. Let me start at the tail. Let me see. There we go. Look at that. That is insane. Is it focusing? I have no idea. I can't see. All right. So that's the tail. As we move along, there is the jade right there. So the jade actually really is pretty. So moving along. And there's the body. And the hands, the one hand, two hands, and then the head with the hair. What do you think? Uh, this is cool. And let me see, can you see the edges? So I like the edges like that. That actually looks cool because there's a little bit of white, 
there's a little bit of blue going on. So the edges are covered one way or another. What do you think, guys? So that is my beautiful mermaid. She will be for sale once she's dry. So if anyone wants her, shoot me an email and I'll let you know how much she costs. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you are notified every time a new video is uploaded or if I go live. And all my social media links are below. Please feel free to check them out and follow me there as well. Facebook, Instagram, I'm on Pinterest and on Reddit. And I have um, an Amazon site uh, shop, an Amazon shop for the US and Canada and my PayPal link. So for any of you who want to donate, thank you so much, my lovely friends. I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you like it. Have a great night and take care. Bye.